It's gonna suck. I actually want to try, uh, my friend told me to try Magical Boots and D-Mat, so I'm gonna try it. I don't know what I'm versing, GP or Jace. It's probably Jace. And I'm versing Jace mid. <laughs> this is fun. So, I'm trying out D-Mat, and my friend told me to D-Mat two me melee minions and one mage minion. And you should be able to clear really fast. I'm also gonna get Seekers versus this game because they got Udyr and Gangplank. See how this game goes. Today, we got a special quarterback season. Last week, Club held a massive event with the winner joining the Club Hall of Fame. This week, before we announce the next contest, I'd like to shout out the winner. Here it is, everybody. Please welcome, wait. What? Sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled programming. The Hall of Fame will not be arriving on schedule or at all. In fact, in seven days it will be destroyed entirely. You'll never find me in time. Are we back? Yeah? Okay. Not sure what's going on, but I can't access the Hall of Fame. We're gonna need your help this week to figure out what happened. We'll send out any info or clues we can gather. If you can crack the case, we'll give you a spot in the Hall of Fame and some sweet prizes. Help us, club members. You're our only hope. There's a Rome opportunity coming up right now, but I ain't gonna be able to push this way fast enough. But I do have the D-Mat. have the DMAT active on two melees and one mage so I clear air somewhat fast so here would be an old a roam opportunity but there's nowhere to really gank just gonna uh, clear wards and place wards Jace kind of has the lane a bit frozen so this would be kind of a roam opportunity here as well You mainly want to find little gaps, little openings where you can actually roam. He's going to have a roam opportunity real soon when this wave pushes into my tower. I sadly can't really walk up. So this would be a roam opportunity as well, but it would be right there. He has no flash. Good job. Going to help push. The question is, can I go top here? Keep baiting, keep baiting. Nice, nice. Oh, he doesn't. Man, feels bad. I think I'm alright though. Eh. Dude, he does so much damage, bro. Jace is just too strong, dude. Matchup sucks. You have a Lulu too, so it makes it really hard for me to go in. I got ulti from the side. Ugh. It's not too bad. I could have ulti directly on them, like it was just not safe. I would have insta died. I need Zanya's though for sure. But you have to win a miracle fight here. GP's all the way over here. You gotta just go in, I think. You have to go in, I think. Can you get ulti? Damn, our team was like super split. GG. Yeah, our Jinx is like super behind, dude. Woo! What a game! What a fun game. Love League of Legends. 
Maybe I should just mute all and just play my own game. That helped me climb. I'm not sure. Then again, no one really talked. It's just unfortunate. I played 32-8 last game, but we lost. Yeah, it happens, man. Especially with Cat. It's, it's pretty common, but you have to learn how to close out games. Like, if you have that many kills in a game, then you're not ending the game soon enough. You have to really just push your advantages as much as you can. Learn to make picks. Do you think Cat would need a few more buffs or is she really good to climb with right now? I don't think she's like really good to climb with, but she's in a pretty decent spot. She's like average. She's not like super OP or anything, so I would say climbing with her is good. At that point, it's just how well you play her and how well you know the game. Yeah, uh, Electric is early game, but it still has a pretty decent scaling to mid to late. And then Harvest is you give up mid lane, but you deal more damage like mid to late with the rune itself. So it really depends on how well you make use of it. I know this pick is Cass. Uh, it's the mid lane. Because he banned Cass. Lissandra. Okay. So against Lissandra, you just go um, just go Tenacity Rune. And it should be, should be alright. She has the classic Aftershock Lissandra with TP. So which means she has, no, she has not too much kill pressure. She has kill pressure on you if you get poked out a lot. So you gotta like make sure that you dodge your Qs. A lot of laning, you have to rely on your ability to move well in lane. You know, like Lissandra, you just gotta dodge your cues. You gotta be able to move around well so that she doesn't hit you very easily. Even other matchups like Zed, you gotta dodge his cues. So you gotta really work on your movement. You gotta learn how to move left and right. You gotta, you gotta get poked down a little bit just so you can bait it out, you feel me? That's three ulties for me, bro. God, what a fucking chore. Oh. Oh, so close. I don't think I did. Oh, she was so close to dying. I had Spellbinder on her too. Sandra stood right on my dagger. They ended up getting Baron, but they only have one. Try to kill Vi as fast as possible. Just so we can like take the Baron after, but she ended up finishing it. It's fine.
Ugh. I could have got, definitely gotten a better ulti off there. I think I should have just flashed. Oh, wow. Damage. Okay, we win. GG. Wow, what a fucking long game. Jesus. Yeah, you see that fucking bug where it just seems like I'm being revealed all the time? It's kind of annoying. I can't even tell. 83 LP, let's go, dude. Or 93. What I'm talking about. Hey guys, if you want to watch me stream, make sure to catch me on facebook.com slash catlifelol and also follow my Discord, City of Aura. The link will be down in the description. You'll have access to me and you'll also have access to all the other cat maids as well.